All right, and welcome back. I think I got the audio fixed. Uh, if not, then you will not hear any of this, and you won't have to worry about it. Anyway, uh, it is a TSA, and we are live at 43 on this fine Friday. It is Cox's push, 280 server, 287 on the op count, 142 for the CSA, 146 for the Union. And because of the hill, I might have a little bit of time to do intros here. So it looks like on Artie for CSA, we have HL bat with uh, Perky and Incenseless for the HD leading the batteries. Let's see, on the CSA team, we have 20th Georgia, along with uh, 4th Georgia. 20th Georgia is led by <laughs> Woogie. Let's see here. And we've got Connor leading the first VA. HL led by KMEG, KMGG I should say, and we've got AB, 710C, for Sergeant Savage, uh, TB led by Knight, HD led by Red Savage, and I believe that is everybody. Looking to see if I spot anybody else in here. Oh, there's PB as well. Not sure who's leading PB though. And I'm going to call that everyone. Oh, no, we got MSG on a slip and Jimmy as well. All right, for the Union team, as they're moving up here, here we got um, two USSS. And down the line, then we got NYV led by Parker. Ninth Corps led by Big Chungus. Captain Hood leading the 42nd. Two US led by Rally Trooper, 19th Indiana. Led by Pineapple Warrior. There's EB led by Hazard. And I think two US is in here as well. And let's see, oh, no, we got MWB led by Willie Stone. And Lieutenant Colonel Azimuth. I think that's just about everybody. Have I missed? Oh, we got Fourth West Virginia in here as well. End up too long or you get clipped. Oh, there's two US led by Rally Trooper. Alright, let's see here. We do have a forward movement by the CSA team already. With TB as being Knight is being very aggressive on this maneuver here. Um, this is a little risky here. Uh, maneuvering right in front of the 42nd line. Several units actually looking right at you. Uh, they're surviving it so far. In the meantime, while that distraction is going on, you can see the Union has set up a l pretty significant defensive line here on point. It looks like they're going for the early cap. I do like this strategy. Uh, bringing the fight into the open field here. And let's see, they've also detached the uh, two USSS up here as uh, to suppress the CSA Arty. A good move on that as well. The only thing I criticize right now, NWE, I don't... Well, it's fine being there right now. Um, now this, I, I know you like your double rank Sparker, but, oh god, with that arty, if they get a shot off here, this, this could be nasty. Oh, and we do have the charge here. TB has gotten hit out by the 42nd, although who's going to win it? Hey, here's that Tennessee hospitality, bitch. Keep that flag up. And it looks like TB was able to de defeat the 42nd in that charge. And has won that fight, if only just. In the meantime. God, you make me nervous over here, Parker. Here we are at the 39.50 mark. You got Slip Jimmy trying to provide some support to the Artie. Oh, you got lucky there, Parker. 
They they look it for you. They look it for you. In the meantime, the CSA is maintaining this L formation. But, oh no, they're not. They are going out for the attack. Um, this I would say is the time to do this. Um, 40 seconds is still wiped out, so you have time to maybe uh, wipe out these forces on point here. You're right. You're right. Company left face. So look to get a quick early recap. Now the CSA is not charging, they are just maintaining this firing position here. Um, as they move up, uh, I can see the logic in it, but they've got to be careful not to get too drug out here. And you got, let's see, who is this? 20th George is going to attempt to charge out charge, boys, charge. this group here, the two USSS. And they are going to fall back. Some are. Oh, force with West Virginia got stuck there. Oh, but MWB counter charge is up. The reserve is committed. And that is comes into that good use of that reserve there by the MWB. And they have maintained that position, at least for now. And while that's going on, that will give enough time for 42nd to get back into the fight here, along with 9th Corps. And savage these poor folks here under TB Knight. And this might be able to turn the flank here if they push up enough. And indeed they are. Here comes 9th Corps. Oh, they're going up. Now they're going back. But 40 seconds going up. This is a good time to gain some ground. Okay, now they're all moving up. And right now the Union has plenty of time. CSA is starting to recap here. We'll see if they can get it without losing too many tickets. There's a hell of a battle line they got going. Hope and order is probably the right order. Yep, Union's holding it just enough. Well, I think that was an already shot coming in. Someone's converging on the wall to the right, so we should be able to get here. It's fine. Keep up the fire. Hey, do you want to push up? Keep pressure on. Hey, do you want to push up? Like, I'm talking to the guards. Keep pressure on. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we can. Artists. This artist is supporting us. Yep, yep, yep. See, now the CSA is starting to get a numbers advantage. They're starting to push up. I think MW... Well, if they're on point, it's fine. Oh, but wait a second. Here come up the reinforcements from Mr. Parker. He's going to come in. Maybe he might be able to stabilize the situation. Indeed, he will. And the cap is now maintained. 15 minutes left on it. You're having a prayer? And you can see that this volley fire is really having some effects. That already is keeping it somewhat even, but that's about it. And the already will start running out of rounds here fairly soon. I can't shoot any faster. You can shoot fast. Now I'm kind of surprised the CSA element here is not pushing forward here and trying to now flank. Imagine that would kind of try to hit this angle over here. Maybe that's what he's thinking soon here. Once he gets some men back, try to unhinge this attack here. In fact, I think that's where uh, this element is pretty vulnerable. They don't really have a uh, flank guard on the right side here, and that's where I would attack from. Oh, there it is. Although I would, I would come all the way up here and try to drag him off. To be honest with you, just shoot him in the back, and just try to lead him on a chase. HL on the star. Let's go. All right, HL is going to move up, but they're going to move straight into it. All right. And indeed, they're going to pull off with that maneuver. Load round bow, nice 
which is fine for a moment or two. The problem is if the uh, if this element doesn't restrain and fix these elements here, they're going to turn in and crush these guys, and it'll just unhinge this entire defense. So you have to maintain some pressure on these guys on that side. On that CSA left. If you don't restrain that CSA left, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. We'll see if they get... You can get off the fight for a little bit. Again, really good job to USS. I'm not seeing too much cannon fire coming in, and you keep them as distracted as possible. Again, there's only two guns here. Let's do an ammo check. Still looking pretty good on that gun. Uh, not bad. But again, look at this. We're at 40 minutes still. Good open order here by Hazard in the EB. Rejoin the line. Yeah, Matt Artie is the only thing really keeping this an even fight right now, but that won't last forever. So this is kind of surprising. So right now, this Union force, this is actually effective enough. So what is actually happening right now, you see you've got TB and the AB here engaging 42nd at range. Really not doing damage either way, but you're restraining these elements from coming up and getting major forces on these guys. Same thing with the 20th engaging 9th Corps all the way back here. Now these guys are preserving their tickets, but still fixing the enemy enough that they can't maneuver, or they're not maneuvering, to get the advantage over here on this flank. Top the hill, boys. Top the hill. Top of the hill. Yeah, I'd be very cautious. Um, MWB, I would say, needs to go into open order. It's not as bad as the double rank that Parker was doing earlier. Um, but you, 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 this is the time for the open order. Like, now he's got the right picture here. This open order now is, is, is much better. Uh, this, I would say, is still a little bit too tight. And, in fact, here comes the charge. Here we go. CSA is going to try to recap here, it looks like. I think that volley went off a little bit early. Flags get in the back. This is also the time for 42nd and 9th Corps to push. We'll see if they do. And kind of hit him in the flank. And here comes the big attack. Well-timed darty shot coming in. There's Pig Romancer. And indeed, here we go. 42nd came in like they were supposed to. And has devastated this part of the flank here. Great maneuver here by 9th Corps. And the 42nd. And with that, it has completely cut out any strength in that charge here. Now, it's not over. It's still got a little bit left here. Here comes 20th Georgia. But they're just going to get torn to pieces here with all these elements. Now, both teams are now at engaged. Oh, that's the problem with being so packed. Although most got up, though. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like the shot was a little bit off. The only unit left on the CSA field here is left is 20th. And some leftovers. You still have some troops over there, but this can is not sustainable. And they are going to try to get out of town, but I imagine the Union is going to push forward and try to wipe them. We are at nine minutes left on this counterattack, and the CSA does not yet have an answer for this Union defense here. One, it is a full server, though, by the way. We're now at 299, 152 versus 147. Are we seeing a counterattack? I would expect the Union to wipe this out, but they're not really. Except this guy. He's going to give away five tickets. 
Yep, good job. Awesome. Alright, and oh, wait a second here. Hood is going to try for the corner. This might be a little bit too gutsy here. But if he succeeds at taking this corner, it would be a huge success for the Union. A big gamble here. Here comes TB to try to age HD. We can't fucking hold this position. You're going to get wiped. Jesus. With me, seventh. Um. I disagree. I think you can hold this position here. You've got three officers. Start putting those pistols to work. Don't be afraid of 42nd. They're not invincible. Look at that. There you go. There you go. See, you're held. Again, I don't... I don't uh, actually, that was 9th Corps, not 42nd. I'm, well, there's some 42nd mixed in there, so... I'm not sure who it was totally, but uh, looks like it was a mix of 42nd and 9th Corps. Might have been both at the same time. But the CSA held it. And sticking their guns there and staying in that position is really key. Without that corner, um, the CSA would have been in a hell of a big problem. I mean, they got a big problem already, but they would have been much, much, much worse. So, um, now this force has had to come back and reconsolidate it up here. Again, a, a, a risky gamble. I would have taken it too. But the CSA was stubborn and was able to hold on. Uh, see, now Knight is going to move up here and try to uh, do some damage here. Now, we've got to keep an eye on this clock here. We've only got seven minutes for this counterattack. The CSA really needs to be thinking about that. You know, all these individual maneuvers can be fine, but you can't get yourself strung out too bad. And you might get fucked up here. No, HL's coming to assist you. We can do it. I mean, I mean, what are you doing, though, is the question. Like, what, what is your intent right now? Where are you guys going? It seems like a big, big cluster at this moment. A cluster cluck, as we might call it. Or a fluster cluck, I think is what one of my NCOs used to, used to call it. And you can see now these guys, now there's no steam chat, so, you know, you got some disaggregated forces out here, which is not bad, but, again, you got to keep an eye on the time. Still got TB over here, but they are taking a lot of fire. And my concern with this position out here is they are just kind of losing cohesion. Let's take a look at Artie real quick and see how we're doing as far as ammo goes. Uh, see, there's only three regulars left. Uh, this one, much better. Eight shots left. So, still okay on ammo, but at some point soon, it's going to become a problem. But right now, I'd start wasting, you know, start... I'd keep up the arty fire right now, because you got to retake this point. But again, good open order usage by this Union team, and that has really saved them. 40-second ripping a volley into this TV element down here. And the CSA is really losing cohesion here. Five minutes remaining to recap. Um, that's not a bad idea. Because half our team is up there, and half the team is down here. I don't know what happened. I somehow ended up with the flag. I would probably just... Well, the problem is, so right now, if you don't you don't have an element restrain this, they hit you in the flank like they did last time. So, it is a bit of a conundrum. Um, the thing I would do is I would make a play for point, and then just have an element turn and engage them. And try to fix them long enough to, to recap point. You're going to lose some men, but you'll regain some also with the uh, cap. And, oh, let's see here. This Union team has been playing expertly this game. I'm very impressed with how they've been playing. CSA has not been doing bad, but it's it's been... They really haven't found an answer for this Union team's positioning. I'd be curious if they have the 10 second or 5 second on. I'm not sure which. If any of you guys know, let me know in the comments. Oh, Parker, why must you tempt fate like this?
Alright, we do have an attack developing here. First VA is trying to move down, but they are getting torn to pieces on the way. There goes Pig Romancer. So HL has succeeded in occupying this uh, rock, so that was a good maneuver off, a good retrograde there by two USSS. Two USSS? Second US sharpshooters. NYV is coming in to aid. Although, oh, wait a second, we got a maneuver over here. This might be an opportunity for the CSA, and in fact, this is probably their last opportunity. But it looks like the 42nd is getting the better of this fight. Cover me, cover me, cover me. And with this attack floundering, oh, yeah, the there is no securing the flank. Oh, but wait a second, now we've got a charge out of this major CSA, but there's not a lot with it. The Union, okay, now here it comes. And I absolutely agree with this maneuver here by the Union. It's going to be costly, but if you can knock out the CSA and disrupt them and force them back to Maine, they're only going to have two minutes to launch a counterattack. And they succeeded. And you can see they've been knocked off the field. The only thing left is this force over here. And TB is charging, and this, I, I think, is the right decision. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to charge in. With whatever you got left, you got to make it a fight. If you let 40 seconds come down. Oh. Hold it here, hold it here. We need to capture right. No, 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 we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Push right, push right, charge right. Uh, Knight is correct. You need to push right, especially now that you got additional teammates coming up here. You've got one minute left to recap. And, but the problem, of course, is you have no fixing force to restrain that over there. So here we go. I'm going to stab somebody. And here comes the force, unrestrained. Twenty seconds. Fight me, fight me, ye Yankee cowards! <laughs> Fuck you, Red. No. And that is it. Good game. And a decisive and overwhelming win for that Union team. Uh, completely just destroying that CSA element there. Um, good, good open order, good folly, uh, good coordination, uh, especially with that 9th Corps 42nd Force. Uh, but good job by the rest of the Union team doing a hold force, too. So, uh, worked out well. Some attempts to uh, stop it by the CSA, but never could quite uh, overcome the, uh, the discipline for that Union team. So, uh, a well-fought win for them. No, not always uh, easy on this map, so... Got one more to go. I think they're swapping sides for Reno's Fall, so we'll see how that goes. Love the low added lines. I love it. That's what I like to see. In the 5% territory. This is UEC levels. <laughs> 